I love animals just as much as the next person. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Definitely sometimes less. I don't love all of them. I cannot say in good conscience, God does not make mistakes. He was definitely tripping when he made Mitch McConnell, first of all, and Goblin Sharks. Face built like a raw chicken wing, nigga. And why he made turtles racist? And what about slavery? Anyways, today I will be talking about some of these animals and ranking them in terms of how cool they look, among other things. My name is Tunari, and this is National Geogra- Na- Tunari. Now, before we start, my voice to begin with is kind of, uh, not exactly up to par, so I don't know if it's gonna last the whole video. We're gonna be here for a while anyway, so let's, uh, let's go. Foxes are really cute and all, but what I admire the most about them is the symbolism that they hold in different cultures, but especially in Japanese mythology, as well as other Western countries. This is pretty funny because in many cultures, they are known to be very symbolic and also highly regarded as a good omen. And I just find that very interesting because me personally, all that I know about foxes is that they rob niggas. Type fox steals on YouTube and just look at the search oh, results. No. Bro, wh why the f are you stealing a wallet? This is real hatred, bro. This nigga not finna do shit with no damn... Why he gains nothing from this? He just stealing for the love of the game, bro. I do not mean to disrespect anybody's cultures or beliefs. But I don't know how these niggas got the reputation they do in certain cultures. All they do is lie and steal. What do you mean if I see a fox that represents good luck? That nigga just tried to steal my money. They didn't make Swiper a fox for no reason. But you know what? Loki, I respect the fact that they steal purely for the love of the game, bro. They steal just because, like, that shit is genetic. They inherited that that urge to thieve niggas, bro, to, to swindle. But also, I still think they're really cute, so fuck it. But another thing that I heard is that they stink, like, really bad. And as much as I want to factor that in, to be fair, I'd have to say that about pretty much everybody else in the animal kingdom. They all stink. Not a single one of them niggas have stepped up and invented deodorant for crying out loud. And some of them been around for thousands of years, so I don't know what the hold up is. But anyway, A. Stop stealing to get a job, yo. Then you might be S. This is fucking ugly ass kid. I'm just like, this nigga looks crazy. Just walking around with a fat ass cock on your face, huh? This what we doing now? How you got a flaccid nose? Big ass yam on your face. Get that yam off your face, nigga. Big yam face. Why are you yelling? What the fuck are you yelling for? I don't like these Squidward nose having ass niggas, bro. But apparently in Proboscis monkey lore, the females are more attracted to males with larger noses. And it's crazy because it don't matter what the fuck you is. Human, mosquito, dog, monkey. You're still gonna get body shamed by your own race. Look, man, it's tough out here being a living and breathing organism. I, uh, sometimes I be wishing I was a fucking rock, bro. I hate that he low key fried this pick up, though. Like, he, like, you could tell he was feeling himself, bro. This little GQ looking ass photo shoot, bro. Hey, man, I respect the confidence. But since you wanna walk around with a big ass dick on your face, D. I'm not gonna lie. I I, this ranking might piss some of y'all off because I ain't never seen Lion King. I'm probably the only person that hasn't at this point. It's not even that I'm young because I grew up watching many of the classic Disney and Pixar films of around that time. For some reason, I just never got around to watching that one specifically. The reason I say this is because it might have to do with me thinking that Lions is about the most fraudulent Mickey Mouse, Celtics Jack, Cars 3, Poster, Apex better than, than I've ever heard of, bro. King of the Jungle, my ass! Every time I see a clip of Lions, them niggas is sleeping. They saying they sleep up to... My voice cracking. They saying they sleep up to 21 hours each day just sleeping. But you want me to believe they the kings of the jungle? Look at this dude, bro. Dead slumped. Middle of the street, leg up, cock out. Middle of the road aside, nigga, how you, s nigga, how you sleep with a leg up? That's extra work. 
listen, man, I ain't never seen lions put enough work. Why did I just turn off my mic? Listen, man, I ain't never seen lions put enough work to be called kings of no damn nothing, bitch. I'm not sorry. Tigers, on the other hand, they bigger, stronger, and don't need no posse to jump they prey and do damage. They usually pounce and work alone. See, a tiger by itself can do way more than a lion by itself. Don't talk to me about no lions. They will get bitched against a regular degular tiger unless they wife and her boyfriend tap in. But look. This is a drip tier list, so I gotta give it to them. They main is iconic as shit. Loki, I wanna hate on they main too, but I can't. It's raw, but also their raw is raw. They, no, they are roar, roar. Tiger Stripes is still way cooler, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. Which is exactly why I can't get over how fraudulent y'all reputation is. I'm sorry, y'all not getting anything higher than a B. I don't give a damn what you the king of. Just put my f***ing fries in a bag. I just might put these niggas at S just off of vibes alone. I ain't never seen an animal make being jobless low-key look kinda cool. Look man, I'm not trying to glaze, but Kepabar's low-key got unmatched aura. Not the kind of an apex predator though. More something like when you're in their presence, you can save your game file type shit. You feel me? Like he's always in his own world. He quiet for real unless he know you. He's funny as hell though, but if he know you type shit, you get what I'm saying? Yes. Hey, look, you could tell just by looking at them. Whatever block he from, he run that block, baby, bro. I ain't never seen nobody with cork screw antlers. This is a different type of song. And he mewing. Yeah, this nigga locked in. You ain't never seen a deal with this type of motion, and it's kind of sad. I mean, bro, they they they, they watching y'all. They also most likely don't jump in front of a moving vehicle the first chance they get. Which, I'm not sure if that's just North American deer. I seen a clip of deer in Japan waiting on the sidewalk for cars to stop so they can cross. So I don't know if they deer naturally smarter or, or if maybe our deer just lack fundamental survival instincts. But anyway, kuru soros, y'all. This out of reality. I got y'all that'll cool me. So he's better than you? Yes. And stacks more paper and gets more holes than you, nigga? Absolutely. Goats are hikey carried by their name, and the fact that at first it was commonly used to describe something that was the best of its kind, the greatest of all time. But because of how carelessly people use it now, me included, it just kind of means that something or someone is very cool. I actually used to have a pet goat once when I was like 14. So I was living in DR at the time, and completely out of the blue, my dad and cousin had brought a goat to the crib. Yes, I have a dad, oh, get your jokes in funny, man. I don't remember much other than he was very chill. Sometimes in the middle of the day, I'd go to the backyard and pet him and vibe out, you feel me? I could see him directly from my bedroom window, so sometimes I'd call to him. His name was Chivo, which is just goat in Spanish. And uh, this was like that for a couple of weeks until a Sunday, I think it was, where my cousin and my dad had pulled up again. But this time, they went straight to the backyard. I just kept playing on the PS4, so I didn't care. Then I realized that they were there in the backyard for a while. So I quickly glanced at my bedroom window to see what they were doing. Anyways, we ate that nigga later that day with some rice and beans. Black beans, actually. This shit got dark so fast. And you know what? I probably shouldn't have told that story. Y'all gonna look at me different. But I don't give a damn, nigga. That goat meat was good as fuck. Their antlers are pretty cool, I guess. Uh, see? <laughs> see? I'm not gonna lie. Bears? Y'all niggas carried. Hard. Because Kuma? Hey, yo. That's the day one. Everybody give it up for Kuma and his ugly ass dad. God damn, damn. But also, Freddy Fazbear. Everybody give it up for Freddy. <laughs> Side note. Yo, Freddy. Next time you see Toy Chica to let him my line, you feel me? None of these people are real. But on a serious note though, 
Bears are pretty cool. I love that they can stand on two feet just because. Out of all the wild animals that I really wish I could pet, it probably has to be a bear, bro. I, look at them. One of my biggest regrets is that I'll never be able to like some type of big ass cat or a bear as a pet. Just because it's very unrealistic for both parties, you know? We'd both have needs that can't be fully satisfied in a scenario like that. But also, if I'm being for real, I'm not trying to pick up no big ass wild animal dur. That is a grown ass man and he ought to start using a damn toilet like everybody else above all else they're a really cool animal i honestly don't know why i won't put them on s but i feel like leaving the bears at a feels just right you see what i did there they really made a movie about a bear that did cocaine bro crack This next one is Sun Bear. I'm not gonna show y'all what they look like yet because I want to ask you a question. Yes, yes, you, nigga. You ever look at something or someone and the first thing that crosses your mind without a heartbeat is God did not intend for that to exist. Oh, what is that? That is not supposed. Take, take that, yo, take that costume off, nigga. You got school tomorrow, Daryl. Like, who do y'all think y'all fooling? That is a- that is a human, bro. Look, man, I'm not trying to rag on an endangered species too much, but I'm not finna sit here and lie, nigga. You- you an ugly-ass bitch. Damn. D. The worst part is that, like, y'all niggas looking like that, but same time be hella hostile. Y'all be dumb aggressive. That's why you look like that, because you're trying to start problems. This should look like a biblically accurate fox, bro. This thing isn't even actually a wolf. Who, who named you, nigga? Why did you let them do that? Again, I don't want to rag too much on a threatened species. God bless these, these weird ass creatures. They probably mad chill in person. I don't think they look bad, but I'd be lying if I didn't say those legs look freaky. Freaky as hell. I'm not a fan. The way great whites look in the face, you can just tell not a single coherent thought has crossed its mind since it was spat out shark box. Y'all weigh about as much as a Honda Civic, but can't do anything that a Civic can. I'm just saying y'all y'all niggas not even reliable like that. Ain't y'all frauds. Y'all got multiple movies and video games where y'all just packing up humans, but y'all not y'all not like that in real life. Y'all not like that, and I'm just saying I'm seeing a lot of cap in y'all rap. I seen some dudes pulled up on your block. Yeah, yes, your block and then rotated your mains. Expose him! Expose him! <laughs> I'm genuinely having a hard time thinking of something positive to say about you niggas. And I'm really trying here because I've said at least like one or two good stuff about all the animals or most of the animals up to this point. I, I, for the life of me, I can't seem to think of one single respectable protect. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Lenny from Shark Tale, Lenny from Shark Tale. Lenny is the only great white shark that I respect. Some people are gonna say that one shark from Suicide Squad, but I've never like seen or played anything Suicide Squad, so I can't actually comment on that. Now, fellas, look, I know it's just in fun, but what the f- But either way, y'all niggas is not getting anything higher than a C. That's it. This next one is dear. Look, man, I need to let y'all know at this point that I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm not hating, bro. Y'all see that I genuinely be trying to say something good about everybody, even if I don't like them. But it just so happens that these niggas is raggedy. So now apparently I feel like I gotta defend myself before I even say what the fuck I'm trying to say. You hearing my voice, bro? This is stressing me out. Of course. <laughs> Do you get where I'm coming from? We on the same page, bro. Hell. You gonna leave me? You might be top three most useless fucking animal. Y'all niggas literally get clapped by everything. But if it's not y'all getting slammed by wolves or cougars or bears or alligators or hunters, etc., etc., it's y'all dumbasses leaping in front of a car the first chance you get. I don't get it. I understand that many roads tend to travel through the native environments. What I don't understand is hearing a twig snap like 15 meters away and running away from it. But when you hear a loud ass engine and see a large several ton hunk of metal moving over 40 miles per hour, your first instinct 
is to launch yourself at. This is another thing. I'm very against hunting animals for sport. I said it's very nasty in my opinion. But if deer don't get hunted, they overpopulate very easily and then starve to death because it's not enough saplings and plants or whatever the shit that they be eating. Then they will end up doing more harm than good to their environment and ecosystem. So basically, they are a complete fucking pointless animal. Y'all's only purpose is to touch grass and then serve as prey to other animals. Y'all's only saving grace is that sometimes the mantlers be looking fly as hell. That's it though. D. Hey man, hey, this next one is Jaguar. And I got nothing but good things to say about y'all. Look, y'all chill as hell, majestic, very low key, don't got no fraud ass reputation like lions and sharks and foxes, fur coat stay looking dumb fly, dripped out, one of the flyest patterns, black. Oh my black. Everybody give it up for Jaguars, bro. They mind their own business, and that's why they winning. You feel me? And I got a shout out K, bro. This is a very easy S. Very easy S. I'm kind of indifferent about raccoons, but sometimes I think about maybe in an alternate universe where they wouldn't be the animal most associated with rabies and garbage and trash and shit, they would probably be as universally appreciated as cats and dogs. Maybe like neck and neck with hamsters and the like. I don't think I can never get over their freaky ass hands, but they can be pretty cute sometimes. Is that just me? But also again, y'all carried hard because Rigby is one of my favorite characters of all. Man, everybody give it up for Rigby, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, you've not clapped a single time this whole video, nigga. Clap. But also Sly Cooper because he been that nigga. He might be before some of y'all time, but. Am I really at an age where I can say things like that now? I'm going to be honest. Truly, I despise you little creatures. And I was gonna do y'all like how I did cockroaches last video. Gun to the back of my head, a nigga told me to eat this ugly ass specimen. Well, I'ma eat it because you know what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do. But I have to contemplate it a little, maybe. D, cockroaches, D, eagles, honestly. Aside from the fact that- But then I found out y'all got a whole year with the Chinese New Year calendar. No offense to the Chinese New Year calendar. Bitch, how the fuck rats get a whole year? A whole year, nigga? Nigga, you get it three minutes, take it or leave it. Whole damn year, you smoking dick. But I fuck with Jerome. Like, that's my nigga. That is a black. But that's for another video. But right now, I hate y'all so much. Y'all not even gonna get put on the list! Fuck that to you, nigga! Die! Anyways, that is all. Here's a list. Not too many S's this time around. Um, I ended up cooking the shit out of more animals than not. The only reason I did is because I picked the ones I feel very strongly about, good or bad, but completely within good reason. Lions is lucky I don't toss them niggas at D. Tigers are the real kings of the jungle. Lions don't even live in fucking jungles, bro. Damn! I'm just joking, y'all. Not about the lines, though. Fuck them niggas.